Hello, I'm Paul Pluter and welcome to Paul Pluter Prestige. Today I'd like to talk about a very special Patek Philippe. It's the Patek Philippe Calatrava 3919 and it's also Paul Pluter's very first model of Patek Philippe that he owned. And the 3919 is sort of the quintessential Patek Philippe. And uh, basically, rumour has it that what happened in the 80s, uh, Patek was talking to an ad agency to design a line of upmarket advertisements, and they they said, "Well, let let's let what are the the quintessential elements of a Patek Philippe?" And, and Patek said, "Well, we're a traditional watchmaker. We have the the yellow gold case. We have the hobnail bezel. We have the white." dial with the the Romans we have the sub second at six six and they they basically designed this watch around all the quintessential elements that make the brand so famous and uh, it's really it, it looks at the core values of the brand and uh, what they they did with the 3919 is they fitted the manual wind 215 movement which is still used today the 215 manual wind movement is sort of the bread and butter movement used in so many manual wind protects and they 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 basically took elements uh, the Calatrava is probably the most you know classic line if if you are going to be able to recognize a Patek it's probably a Calatrava that you'd recognize and uh, but they look at they looked at these these elements and they they basically designed this watch and uh, the 3919 it's uh it's actually been superseded now it's no longer made and it's been replaced by the 5119 which basically all the 5119 is it's a larger version of the 3919 the 3919 is a 33 mil watch whereas the 5119 is about the 37 mil so it's it's just bulked up a bit but it's basically the same the same ethos the same um, the same vision and aim that the 3919 has. 3919's now, you know, the funny thing is is that when I owned mine, I never felt it was too small. And uh, it actually wears very much like a 36mm watch. And I've had this experience with a... Um, I've had this experience with a Royal Oak, Audemars Piguet. I had a 33mm two-tone model and then I got the 36mm and I couldn't feel much difference. And uh, the, the Patek's 3919 is a bit the same too. But anyhow, look, it's definitely beefed up in the 5119. But uh, the 3919 is, is just... Your, your quintessential Patek. They're really good bang per buck. You can pick them up now, seven to ten thousand dollars, which is, you know, that's 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 not hideously out of the out of the range. I mean, it's, that's a lot of money for a second-hand manual wine wristwatch. Of course, yes, it is, but it's a Patek. It's the greatest brand in the world, and uh, I think it's a. Uh, it's a very beautiful piece to have. You could certainly never, never do any wrong if you had a 3919 um, given to you or you, you, your son inherited it. It's a great piece. But uh, the 3919, I think it's classic. It's beautiful. It's, uh, it's a great piece. And uh, it's it's very, very significant model in the Patek range. It's sort of, you know, before the 80s, Patek was very much a specialist sort of maker. Post-80s, post-90s, Patek is starting to be well known as the, the, the world's greatest wristwatch. And uh, that's a certainly a good thing. And the 3919 is a model which can take some... Um, it, it, it really needs to take a bow and uh, ha have a standing ovation because the model introduced so many people to the brand including Paul Pluter from Paul Pluter Prestige so I mean it, uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic model I hope you've enjoyed this review on the 3919 now let's have a look at the scoring okay for the brand itself it gets a 10 
for the significance of this model in this brand's lineup, another 10. For the um, movement itself, 10. For the workmanship and attention to detail of this model, another 10. For the Paul Pluter Prestige rating, I'm going to give it an 8, which is a very good score. I'm not, not trying to uh, hurt this piece. Eight's a great score, gives us a total of 48 points. I'm Paul Pluter from Paul Pluter Prestige. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the 3919.